I have decided to do a, a video today. It's been basically what almost a whole full like work week of me not coming and going to work. I did go into work on this past Monday, um, but just for a few hours and I was with my daughter. So technically it wasn't like a regular work day, but it was still, I had to be there for work. But I decided I'm willing to do um, uh, my video about my wigs that my, I guess my go-to wigs, that's what I'm going to probably title this video, um, is my go-to wigs, the wigs that I will wear on my wig wearing days. Um, this is right now my every day on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then sometimes on the weekend um, where I would wear this wig. And I this is a full lace wig. It came in this box. This is called Fushi. I think Fushi, I, I kind of think of it like sushi, but, and you know, taking out you know, taking out the the beginning sound beginning sound of sushi, replace it, you know, S with the F. Um, and um, that's how I pronounce it. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but they do really good full lace synthetic wigs. They really do. So it came in this box. I had a little, you know, this little ribbon. On the side it tells you the the um, the number the item number and then also the um, the color and all that and this is supposedly a blonde but if you look at it if you're seeing this in if you're seeing this on the video on the camera it's I would say it's more of a gray not so much or gray silver kind of esque color I don't know what else I would call it but that. Um, it does have a dark, almost dark brown to maybe natural black rooting. Um, but I did, I did actually um, put some rooting color from L'Oreal. The spray, which is called Magic Root Cover Up. This is what I use, and it's for dark. It's for dark brown. And my hair is kind of like right now. Well, it's going through different. It's going through a stage right now. My actual hair, uh, meaning that. I'm slowly getting back. I, I kind of stay. I kind of went away with the purple hair, and I'm going towards more of this color with my hair. Uh, it's not exactly this color, but it's getting to that stage right now. Um, my rooting is my natural color, which is brown. There might be some tint of pink, uh, purple because of the because of how I, of the dye that I was using before. But I'm wanting to go back to brown only because, um, you know, the reason why is because the rooting, making sure my rooting color, the rooting color is brown because it makes it easier for me to switch up with the wigs and stuff. So if it was like a purple color, then I'm kind of stuck with doing purple wigs um, because, again, with my sideburns here, right here, they come out, you know, um, you know, what, what else can I do? I mean, I could cover it with the wig, but sometimes doing the whole gluing, the got to be glue stuff for me, I, I'm just not about that. I really don't like using the got to be glue because number one, um, I'm not, I don't wear the wig two days or three days straight. Um, two, I'll be constantly washing off that the got to be glue from my face around the hairline and I just for me my skin is very sensitive so so there you go there's my long answer why I show my actual uh, my actual sideburns um, I mean I could I mean again I could like because this this wig is a big head friendly wig um, that's why I love it so much it's you could stretch it really nicely um, and this wig is just a, I mean, it's a perfect wig. I think it's, the, I mean, I didn't even put powder on this particular one. I did with the other one that I have, and I'll show that to you in a bit. But this one, I did not put any powder because I feel like the lace on this, on this wig is so transparent that with my wig grip and my, uh, my, 
my wig cap because it's a cream color it shows really nicely um, and it's 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 you know I still people even up until now with me wearing this for this week people are surprised that I'm wearing a wig they think it this is my actual hair um, this is my actual hair man I had some then I don't know this is some long hair I don't think I can ever grow my hair this long um, I did when I was a kid now I don't know age is uh, catching up to me so <laughs> I know I'm not that old but still because of my age I don't think I could grow it this like luscious and thick but yeah it's not a very thick thick over the top thick uh, wig which that's what I like I don't like wigs that are super thick I have some they're beautiful I'll wear them on special occasions but on an everyday kind of thing on a regular basis it's just not for me um, so anyways this is a this is a full lace wig um, I really like it I think it's supposedly 22 inches um, on me I feel like it looks longer than 22 like 24 but Again, I don't have a ruler with me to uh, <laughs> to actually confirm if it's 22, but um, it's pretty long. So if you look all the way back here, it goes to basically the top of my waist area. Um, it's, it's, it's a nice V-cut um, wig. I, I mean, again, I really like it. And I live on an island, and which for those who watch me on a regular basis, you guys know that I live here. I live on Guam, so it's a very hot island. Um, and I, don't get me wrong, I still do get hot, but it's not because of the wig that's making me hot. It's just because it's just it's just that's how our weather is here. It's just hot. Um, but I don't get overly hot with wearing this wig, which is a plus, and it's long, so. I mean, this is really a special wig for me, um, not only because um, my husband got it for me for Mother's Day, but it, it, it's one of the few wigs that I feel like I don't, I don't get overly hot in. So anyways, let me show you the inside of this hat. Excuse, I'm going to have to take off my, my wig cap, but so as you can see, it is a full lace. Okay, so there's three, there's actually four little combs. So there's one here. This is pretty much in the middle of your head, and then this is the one on the back. The only one I use is the one in the bottom. I, again, because I don't want my edges of my hair to start being pulled. Hence, that's why I don't wear extensions um, as much anymore. Um, I'm just afraid that if I wear extensions a lot, or I wear multiple, like a lot of extensions, which I have to if I want to have long hair. I don't want it to be um, pulling on my hair too much and me losing the hair. So, um, hence that's why I do not wear, that's why I do not use these, uh, the side ones especially. And then the one on the bottom I use, um, but I, again, a lot of the times it's not really gripping my hair so much. It's more gripping the actual wig grip uh, more so than anything. It might hold a little bit of my hair but not a lot. So and again it's not pulling it back like that. It's just it's actually just I'm inserting it uh, upward so it's not be it's not really pulling my hair down. So that helps. So anyways this is I mean it, it it's full lace and you know like when I move it sorry I've worn it all day today so when I move it it moves like like it's real hair. Um, I love this wig. I absolutely love this wig. And as you can see, I don't know, I'm hoping you can see, um, there's a little bit of that tint from this stuff here. And so it's a really good wig. Um, I like it. It's very pretty, very, um, right now it's kind of, got to brush it down a little bit because I've used it, but it's a very nice wig and it really, like people really don't know I'm wearing a wig so that's a the beauty of it so let me just put this off to the side so the other one is the same brand again guys 
This is more of, it's supposed to be a gray pink, but the gray looks more to me, more um, like a pastel-y, uh, pastel that's not even a word guys, sorry. More of a pastel blue. Again, it used to be just as long as that one, but for some reason, this particular one, I was really liking it short. I guess when it comes down to ombre, having so many different colors, for me, I like the different colors, but then sometimes it gets to be too much for me. And so, because it does have like a dark rooting, again, I did use, I didn't use the spray, but I used the pen for this one. And it's, and so I have some brown here, it's again, to kind of mask with my actual sideburns here. Um, but yeah, so it's still, and I felt like this one just felt more, it was thicker. It feels like it was a whole lot thicker than that one. So that was also kind of what gave me the, the push to, to cut it, to cut it short. Um, like a bob, a, a bob, uh, a bob cut. So let me show you. Let me put my cap back on. So put it on like that. If it's not on perfectly, it's fine. I'm just showing you what it kind of looks like on my head. Okay. So. And yeah, this is a little okay. Don't think I adjusted the comb, uh, the the straps. I forgot to tell you, both of these do have like the little straps. So again, technically, if you're like me, you don't like to use the got to be glue or wig glue, you do not have to with this one. So yeah, again, this is this one, and I and again, I really like this one. Like the days where I want to have multiple colors, and I want to be a little bit more edgy. I feel this is a more edgy, I'm not saying the gray one isn't edgy, it definitely is, but this is a little bit more edgy for me um, because there's so many colors going on. And again, that was another reason why I just had to cut it. Um, I feel like having so many of these colors, it just looks personally on me better when it's shorter. Um, I don't know what it is. I just but I really like this one. This is a really nice one. So especially too, if I don't want to be dealing with long hair that day, slap this on and hey, call it a day. Um, this is a really good, and again too, I don't feel overly hot in this one. And it's, I really like this. So this is kind of what it looks like in the back. You know, it, it's nice. It, it's a really nice one. I really like this brand. I feel like this brand has really, um, if you go on, you, when you're when you research this um, brand specifically there's a lot of women out there that uh, did a lot of reviews you know uh, not necessarily this particular color or the gray one but all there's different colors that they do provide they have a, a full-on blonde they have, a, they have two different types of ombre blonde so they're I mean they're really they're a really good a really good brand and they don't just do full lace, but they also do uh, lace front as well. Um, those are a little bit cheaper. This one, if I'm not mistaken, which I was really surprised because of the colors that they had, because it's so many different colors. Um, this one was $48. The one that my husband bought for me, that was $69. So again, it's not that bad of a deal really, because again, when you're looking at lace front wigs, are uh, not lace front, full lace wigs, um, they can get really pricey. So, I mean, having, you know, if you're really on a budget, but you want quality, um, I really suggest this wig. Uh, and, you know, again, if, if, if funky colors are not for you, there are, there are um, uh, natural colors. Uh, again, the blonde, and then there's also like a, a dark, I think it's like a, like a natural brown look. I think it's, color B1. So, I mean, if, 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 I mean, they don't have a brown one. I wish they did, but they don't. Um, they have, they don't have a brown one, but, uh, they have that dark brown one as a dark, um, color, which is the B1, which is basically black, right? Um, so that one's really nice. It is a nice, I mean, they, they really have really nice looking wigs. So, 
anyways, that is all for that brand. Um, let's see. Then the other one that I started to wear, and you saw that on one of my vlogs, is this, the Prisma wig. It's the blonde one. And I know people were like wondering, oh, like I was like debating, am I going to cut it or not? Because this is also, I supposedly, I think 22 or no, not 22. Oh yeah, 22 inches. And, whoop, nope, I cut it. I cut it. Um, and this one's not a full lace. It is a 13 by, I think, 6 uh, front lace wig. Has three combs, so two combs here, one comb in the back. Again, you know me, I only do the back comb. Has a little straps to make it tighter. This one, too, uh, what was nice, too, they had... Um, well, even the even the uh, Fushi full wigs, they also provided it too. They provided baby hairs. Now I didn't keep all of them. I just kept some in the front, um, because again with the lace, sometimes um, it it showed a little bit too much, and you can it was just because I think too because of the color of the lace didn't match exactly like my skin tone so I definitely had to put powder which made it a whole lot better however um you know even with the powder I could I don't know maybe other people wouldn't tell but I could tell and when I can tell I I just choose to cut it off so I did and what I really liked about this one is that this brown is pretty close to my I mean it's not the exact color but it's it does really mirror, almost has the same color as this. So that's the one thing I really liked about this one. Um, now, you're probably asking, why did I cut it? Um, number one, I don't know. I, I, For me, with this blonde, I really liked it. I really love it. However, I guess because it's not a full lace, it, didn't fe it felt very, very, very thick. And I, I was wearing it long for, for a bit, for almost about four to five days. By the fifth day, I was kind of contemplating, should I, should I not cut it? And I said, you know what, I'm just going to cut it. Um, also, too, I was just, I don't know, like, I just felt like with this color, I'm not wearing the wig grip um, right now. I Since I'm going to be showing you more wigs, I'm like, never mind. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I like it. I really do like this wig. Um, is it, I mean, it's, I don't know, for me, I just feel like it was better short on me. And it because it is thick, and I don't know, like, I felt like, I don't know if, if, if you've had, if, for those who are watching this and are also wig wearers, um, sometimes I just didn't like how much hair is there and then you look at my body like on the side view I don't know if you, you it's kind of hard to tell because it's short now but when it was really long like you could see it just like for me I just felt like it was just too much hair I don't know if that makes any sense to anybody who's watching this video right now but for me that's what it was like I felt like it just too much hair and it just it just it was just too much and um I and I really didn't and I and I was like I could thin it out I could have done that but I said you know what let me just try it out and cut it make it into a bomb and I was like dude I like it I, I like it better as a bob um it just turned out that way but I really do I I mean you know, and then plus it's not a full lace. I think for me, like if I'm going to do long hair, for me, I feel like it's better when it's a full lace than um, a, la uh, a lace front. Only for me, I don't know. I could be, I, I, I could be, you know, it might not, maybe for you guys, you guys can do front la full uh, front lace and it'll be f lace front. I always get confused. I have dyslexia, so. <laughs> or at least I think I have dyslexia. Um, so lace front, front lace, however you, however you uh, call it, um, I just feel that it looks, I feel like when it comes down to those types of wigs, it's better when they're short on me, 
and then full lace I can I can rock it long I don't know and as long as the lace the full lace isn't too like overly thick I can do it like that gray one that I was wearing hands down love it love it love it love love it so I feel like that one I can rock it long the only time I'm probably gonna cut it if it gets too frizzy at the ends because you know we all know with synthetic hair if you wear it a lot or in any and and even if you take good care of it you, you you condition it all that stuff down the line it's gonna get frizzy on the bottom so what can we do right so definitely probably most likely I'm going to cut it once it gets to that point um, as so far so far so good I think I'll probably just have to use a straightener to kind of keep the ends together a little bit. I've also heard some women on YouTube, they use coconut oil, so I might try that out, see how that goes. Um, but yeah, so anyways, going back to this Christmas wig, I love it. It's very, very natural looking uh, because of the hairline and stuff and because of the lace. Very pretty. It just, for me, I had to cut it. That's what I got to do. So anyways, Beautiful wig. I mean, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful wig. Love it. And you know, for those girls who love thick hair, this this is definitely thick hair. I would have to say it's pretty thick. For me, and my, for my definition of thick hair, I feel like it's thick. Uh, but it doesn't say how many, like, what's the thickness of this one. It might say on, on the, on on the item because I got that also I got this on Amazon the other two wigs I showed you I got those on Amazon so okay this is the last wig I'm gonna really I'm going to show you now hold on because I have another wig here that I just kind of popped in there all right so this is again my full lace again as you can kind of see here I'm really liking full lace um, now this is this I got this at uh, Elevate Styles uh, website and inside so again it is full lace but the lace is dark except for they have the parting right so it's one of those deep parts I don't know if you can see it like that the deep parting and so of course because you know I'm you know, I'm um, assuming because this is, this is, you know, that, that website is, you know, of course, mainly for women of color. And so, of course, a lot of the wigs there that they're going to have, the, the, um, the lace will be a darker color, right? Um, so what I do, again, is I, I use my, um, my powder and also, um, foundation, um, contouring powder and also foundation and so to kind of mask it more like my skin tone um, and so that works out for me beautifully so again this color is let me see it is f4 slash 30 and it the name of this wig is la emily and again, there are some women on YouTube that also uh, did a review on this wig. And 